Colin Ballers, what's going on? It's Preacher. And I've over the weekend, I took a break away from the PC. We had an awesome web show, which was a total blast. And then it was a big holiday in the UK. Sun is shining. Spent a lot, nice time away from the PC, which means, of course, I was thinking about playing the PC. And all I was thinking is like, what, what? I really want to dive into some more classes. I really want to flesh out my ideas of what to play in Warlords of Draenor. And the Rogue is a class that I dismissed offhand. I was like, you know what? I've tried the Rogue in the past. And every single one of you has. Not a person listening to this. I doubt it. Of course, there'll be the one guy that like, oh, I haven't. But most of you, while leveling, heard that classic crack of the cheap shot. And then thought, what the hell just happened as your character lay on the dirt? And then at some point, you probably thought, I've got to try that out, because that looks hella fun. I didn't even see it coming. But most of us, in fact, actually roll a rogue, and then we're like, nah, you know what? It's not really for me. And that's the way I am about the rogue. I'm still staunch in my position. It's not a class I want to play. I've tried playing a rogue on so many times for a long period of time. And every time, it just it, it doesn't really click for me. Whether it's just the combo points idea, or sometimes it can be a little bit slow until we get decent gear. It's all a little bit pre-planned and clean, is how I would describe it. Very clean, and at least talking to somebody who's really enjoying a rep pally, so you understand my feelings. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't take a look at it for Wall as a drain or because that's part of what we do is we look at every class, we look at it objectively, and I've got to say something. As I thought about it over the weekend, I think Wall as a drain or is actually shaping up to be the rogue expansion for the in terms of melee. And if things don't balance a little bit better, the rogue, due to its past history, could be looking to be the shining star of the melee. One thing we know happens, right? Hard for us to deny, is every now and again, Blizzard throws that boss in there. Melee sucks. It really sucks. And it's a tragedy in all accounts. It sucks. And then it's like, okay, how many casters do we have? And then the question obviously comes as they look at that bench. They look at that roster of melee and they go, who can we drop? <laughs> Who's not coming? Classically, the rogue was probably top of that list if we look around, ooh, early Catterish. There was a weird time, the homogenization of WoW. There was a real weird feeling that went on during the beginning of Kata. That tier of raiding lasted for ages. And people and guilds were really tailoring their raids in order to allow bosses to actually die. It was also the big era of the raid cooldown, right? The raid cooldown. If you had a choice of a couple of tanks and one was a pally who was bringing Devotion or and the other, uh, the warrior who was bringing fuck all, then... The choice was pretty clear. Your warrior was going to get benched. And then it started to occur with the DPS as well. As more and more raid cooldowns were being splashed around. Then, of course, certain classes were getting dropped. So, Blizz started to homogenize everybody. Let's give everybody a raid cooldown. But then they pulled back. They slammed the brakes and said, this is getting out of hand. We've just invented Spirit Link Totem. <laughs> Where did that come from? What are we going to do? We can't just give everybody a raid cooldown, otherwise we just have to balance every raid boss around the fact that every time we want to deal damage, there's going to be a fucking raid cooldown up. So, we have to we have to pop the brakes a little bit. And the rogues hadn't quite got there yet. So, the rogues started to look a little bit, for the lack of a better word, useless in comparison to everybody else. A lot of guilds were saying, well, we'll bring our rogue, I guess. But he's not bringing much to the table, so Blizzard started to tweak them a little bit. Instead of giving them the raid cooldown, they gave them other aspects. They gave them mobility that made warriors cry. They gave them cleave that made warriors and every other melee cry in terms of the old school blade flurry. They also added in all sorts of little tweaks such as rogues can take every piece of AoE damage in the universe without a fucking heal. That gorgeous, gorgeous feint. My favourite button in the whole game, if I'm honest, because that feint is just godlike when it's used correctly. And then on top of that, there we had the cheap deaths. And then we had every talent under the sun. It's not only personal utility, like the other classes have. It wasn't utility that was non-DPS related. Like we've seen with Druids and Dreamer Scenarius. This Mist of Pandaria idea where the DPS can contribute so much more. They can contribute towards the healing. And I wall as a Drain or Blizzard saying, No, nah, you know, that doesn't quite work out. We're going to have to tone that back down. Because... DPSs don't want to heal. Sure, the guys who prefer a classic hybrid style, they don't mind doing some off healing, but a real DPSer? I'll tell you one class in this game that does not want to be throwing heals. It's a fucking rogue. A rogue wants to stab 
things in the face. And that is why he is there. That's why he's poisoning his weapons up. And it's certainly not to smear some lovely healing all over his friend. So they didn't get a raid cooldown. But what they got was an absolute mustard fucking Sunday roast worth of abilities that allowed them to cope in a particularly unique way. And when this started to kick in, bosses like Valiona and Theralion popped up, where it was discovered that thanks to this godlike mobility, godlike survivability, and self-healing via Recuperate, rogues could actually solo mechanics on their own. And you didn't need to worry about them. You could just say, Rogue, go! And Rogue would go like a Pokemon out of nowhere and survive. And come back up saying, yeah, that mechanic was totally dealt with. Not a fucking worry. Of course, in Mr. Pandaria, that has grown to be even more true, with the rogues being the essential hero class of many raids, going off to deal with things like the Siege Breaker Belt. Solo, no worries, you guys kill the boss, we fucking got this. Dealing with engineers on their own, their mobility, the fact that they can DPS, get back in the action, ASA fucking P, also proving to be very cool. Mixing with the classic burst, which became ridiculous around the time of the tentacle boss of Deathwing, the rogues started to really, really shine. And then, of course, Smoke Bomb was brought in. And we had happy, happy days because they had all this utility and now a raid cooldown on top of that. So what about Walls of Draenor? Why am I saying that the rogues are looking particularly fabulous? Well, raid cooldowns are getting a revamp. We finally had some nice big blue text confirming certain Walls of Draenor things. And one thing they're toning way the fuck back is the contribution of DPS towards healing. And in fact, the contribution of both DPS and tanks towards raid cooldowns. They're pretty clear now that that should really be a healer thing to deal with. Raid cooldowns aren't going away. Smoke Bomb's just getting a little bit weaker. We're still keeping our anti-magic zones. But in general, this is a healer situation. Okay. So, all the other classes are losing this utility, which at first they scoffed at the rogues because they were carrying it while the rogues were like, we don't have a raid cooldown, but I have this, this, and this. And everyone was like, yeah, we need a raid cooldown. Your personal particular stuff doesn't affect everybody. Ha 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 ha. Well, the joke's on everybody else now, isn't it? The joke's on everybody else because the rogue is going into Warlords of Draenor light years ahead of the other melee currently not only do their talent system and is in fact one of the best i may have given it some crap in the past but we're going into warlords of draenor where our gameplay is changing this is one of the best talent trees in the fucking game in terms of personal and usefulness to a raid there is so much a rogue can deal with in comparison to every other melee you've got to be smiling and you know what else <laughs> You've just got to bear this in mind because it's kind of important. Rogues are cool. Rogues are very, very fucking cool. Every time I play mine, I can't stomach it for more than a few hours. I get a little bit bored. But when I've played it all day. I've played it since 7 a.m. It's currently midnight. I've been at the PC all day just rocking my rogue. And frankly, everything they do is cool. I'm going to show you a Nurushen fight, I believe, or it's Shara Pride, one of those, at the end of the video, and you'll see the kind of mobility and ridiculousness that can go on with a rogue who's just having a blast and how cool it looks. But then we look at our level 100 talents, and we just see very cool stuff again. Maximum energy increase by 15. Increase your energy regen. More deeps. Shadow Reflection is possibly one of the coolest abilities I've seen in a long time. You are literally the ninja master training an apprentice to go and kick some ass. Death from above. Oh, yeah. Give it me now, please. Give it me now. I can't get it. I'm not a rogue guy. I can't do it. But God, they're cool. And given their ability, this suffering they, they took in the past, they took it on the chin and the rogues are always rogues. They're rogues since vanilla. They're rogues since they pick it up. And they're rogues through and through. And they suffered through. They didn't give up. They didn't quit. Sure, some of them did. The weaker ninjas. But the others carried on. And now they're going to get their comeuppance. And I would, I think we need to see something happening towards the other melee. Because when you look at the options of cheat death, elusiveness, combat readiness, shadow step, burst of speed, cloak of dagger... Dirty tricks, anticipation, mark for death, shuriken toss, not even fucking being outside of melee range will stop a rogue. Oh, man. I wish I loved this class. I truly do. I wish I loved this class because everything is coming up fucking millhouse for Wallace of Draenor and the rogue as far as I can see. And every time I look at this, I just think, you know what? You guys are going to be one step of fucking head. 
If you're considering a rogue for Walls of Draenor, you've got to be smiling. If you're already playing a rogue, you should be smiling. Because while the other classes are being stripped of their previous entitlements, or being weakened in some way, the rogue's falling back on the goodness that it got before it got its raid utility. And it's all good. All good. As I say, I'm going to leave you with a wonder, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful fight. <laughs> I'm going to show you this one because, one, it shows the excellence that is the rogue mobility. And also, the point at which I get ported on this bike is, frankly, hilarious. I hope you have a great day, guys. Four, I'll see you tomorrow. Three, Bye. Two, one.